was a professor, a politician, often controversial, always drawing a crowd. But most of all, Jacques Parizeau was a man dedicated to one cause. I talk about the sovereignty of Quebec every day, every day. Parizeau joined the Parti Québécois in 1969. It was a big boost to the new party. He had played an important role in Quebec's quiet revolution, and he'd studied at the London School of Economics. A common currency between two countries has a rather rigid constraints. Money matters were his specialty, but a separate Quebec was his dream. When René Lévesque put sovereignty on the back burner in 1984 to focus on governing the province, Harizo slammed the door and left the PQ. It's not funny to see that uh, all companions are leaving uh, in such a mood. When Parizeau returned to head the PQ in 1988, he steered the party back to the hard line towards sovereignty. And he wasn't just trying to convince Quebecers. I ask you to join me in a toast to Canada. To Canada. He set out to sell the idea across the country and around the world. But I think France should be uh, first to endorse this uh, situation. And Parizeau and did come very close to breaking up Canada. In the 1995 referendum, 49.4% of Quebecers supported his yes side. Parizeau's now infamous words on the night of that loss outraged the country. We essentially lost the referendum because of money and the ethnic vote, he said. The next day, Parizeau stepped in. <laughs> Years passed, but didn't cool his passion. He at times stepped into the spotlight to criticize former colleagues or to support his second wife's political career. In retirement, he picked up a hobby for a time, winemaking on a vineyard in France. He produced the Coteau de l'Élysée, a toast to sovereignty, a dream he never saw come true. Geneviève Beauchemin, CTV News, Montreal.